radio play for this week is entitled, You're Somebody Else. It is a dramatization suggested by a story, which will be found in the fascinating pages of next Sunday's issue of the American Weekly. The educational and entertaining magazine distributed with every Hearst Sunday newspaper from coast to coast. In the front parlor of a brownstone rooming house located in the roaring 40s of New York City, an earnest young man is seated before a piano playing with one finger. When you're in love with your somebody else, nobody else will do. Hey, George, I think I've got it. You sure have, Sonny. Hey, is it catching? Uh, the landlady didn't tell me you went to the room. A uh, slight oversight on her part. Well, I, I beg your pardon. Uh, uh, mind if I put down my bag? Well, I didn't know anyone had done Oh, don't mind me. Uh, go right on tuning the piano. It needs it. I wasn't tuning the piano. No? No. Well, don't bristle. How could I tell? When I took this front parlor this morning, the landlady promised to have that family relic tuned. This is, is your room? Twelve dollars worth. Paid in advance. Uh, you'd like to see the receipt? No, 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 of course not. I'll take your word for it. Yes, please. Well, I didn't know this room had been rented. You, you see, I used to have it and... Oh, and you moved out? Yes. Well, what was the matter? No hot water? Oh, no. <laughs> There's plenty of hot water, at least on this floor. You see, I've moved up to the top floor rear. Well, don't you hate climbing stairs? Oh, no, I don't mind. Besides, the view is splendid, except on wash days and then... The... Yes? Well, since coming to New York, I've learned something about rooming houses. What? Well, as you go up in the world, you move down. And as you go down, you move up. In other words, the fourth floor rear is, is cheaper. Oh, thanks for explaining your gag, Sonny. Uh, what's your racket? Well, I'm, I'm trying to be a composer. No. I'll stay here now. What... Oh, don't bristle so easily. Fix me your collar and unlatch. No, tell Mama your troubles. I'm in a receptive mood and I'm too tired to unpack. Shoot it, Sonny. I dislike girls with a mother complex. Still on the defensive. We're neighbors. Uh, barring three flights of stairs. Can't we be friends? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. I... <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm a hooper in a nightclub. A premier don't suit to you. No, honestly. <laughs> that makes us even up. Now I can start all over. What's your name? Eddie Brown. Mm, neat without being gaudy. Yours? Tina Fairchild. Uh, and don't laugh. No, I like it. Nice boy. I'm a specialty dancer at Tony's Paradise. Oh. And you're a... Uh... Well, I'm, uh... Yeah? Well, I guess I'm a hick from the sticks that's licked. Mm. No break? Well, the publishers don't seem to like my song. Oh, publishers are dumb. Well, maybe they're right. The public picks song hits, not publishers. Well, I don't seem to know how to go about getting my songs before the publisher. Was that one of your songs you were playing when I came in? Yes. It sounded kind of catchy. What do you call it? Uh, when you're in love with your somebody else. You see, it goes like this. When you're in love with your somebody else, nobody else will do. Say, that's a natural. If the rest of your lyrics are any good, Lonnie Edwards could put that over with a bang. If you make it worth his while. Who's Lonnie Edwards? The crooner at the Paradise. He puts on the review, too. Oh, I, I'm afraid I couldn't do I it. could. Oh, you mean... Lonnie, do it for me. I need this with Lonnie. He, uh... You, you, you mean he, uh... He uh, and Lonnie you, uh... likes my dancing. Oh, I see. Well, maybe you do. Oh, but I couldn't trouble you. I don't... It's no trouble. Now, you run up to that fourth floor rear with a nice view and make a copy of that song for me. Well, and I'll take it to Lonnie when I go back to rehearsal. Oh, Miss Fairchild, I just... Never I'm argue with Miss Grace you. or a lady. Oh, I swell of you. <laughs> Mr. Brown, such language. Now, run along now. Mama's going to take a hot tub. All right. Cut it. That's all. Back at four o'clock, girl. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, how's everything coming along, Lonnie? Hey, that's going to be a swell number, Tony. When the girls perfect their routine, we're going to have the biggest novelty review on Broadway. Yeah, maybe. I'm not so sure, Lonnie. Looks like the same old stuff to me. That's because you haven't seen the lighting effect. Did you ever see a sweller bunch of girls? And sick, Tony, by little Lonnie Edwards. Oh, sure, the girl, she's good to look all right. That's all right. All the night, the club's got a good looker. That's no novelty. Yeah, but they haven't got a specialty dancer like Tina. Tina? Yeah, she's pretty good. Tina's a knockout. And wait till you hear my new number. I got a smash number written for me by a fellow... Well, she's about this song, The Moon? Well, in the chorus, there's a line sure, about... Sure, sure, she's about the moon. The moon is here, the moon is there, the moon is someplace else. I know. What kind of moon is she? 
I'm a tell you. She's the kind of moon that rhymes with the spoon. But Tony. Ah, she's no good to land. The public sees a sick like I am. All that time you sing about a moon. Some place you've got a home, the poor, the mud. The mud? Sure, everybody she's got a mud. You got a mud, I got a mud. <laughs> you mean a song about mother, Tony? Sure. I just tell you what you mean, that's all. And she's no good, Lonnie. What do you got to get is a song about somebody else. Tony's oh, right, Lonnie. What you need is a song about somebody else. And little Tina is the girl who can produce it for you. Here, take a look at this, Tony. Hmm. When uh, you're in love with your somebody else. Hey, that sounded pretty good. Who's this somebody else? The girl who's in love with you, of course. That's the stuff, Tina. Fix him up, Lonnie. No moon, no home, no mud. This song, she's going to be about somebody else. What's the idea, Tina? You know I always pick my own songs. What's the matter, Lonnie? You sore because no check goes with this one? I'm not working in this dump for my health. And you won't be working here at all, Bright Eyes, if you put over another flop with you. Tony's about ready to pull out. And you think this song will take him out of the red? Well, it won't put him in any deeper. Who wrote the song? A kid from the sticks named Eddie Brown. Oh, come on, Lonnie, be a sport. Tony's been white to us, and, and he deserves a break. You sure it's Tony you're thinking of? Oh, of course. And you too, Lonnie. You know the boys have been handing you some prize flops. And... Now, this song's a natural. How about a little uh, advanced royalty? The kid's broke. I wasn't thinking of your hick songwriter. No? I was thinking of you. Uh, I'd have to get an advance from Tony. No, you wouldn't. I'd accept a kiss from you as down payment. Oh. You put a price on everything, don't you, Donnie? Everything I want. And I want you, Tina. I'm crazy about you. Uh, I won't promise anything more than that down payment, Lonnie. Well, take it. You bet I will. Oh, uh, I beg <coughs> your pardon. I didn't mean to. Oh, uh, oh hello, Eddie. Uh, Lonnie, this is Eddie Brown. Uh, Eddie, uh, this is Lonnie Edgar. How do you do? How are you? You boys can get together now on Eddie's song. I'm going in to see Tony about that new costume. Well, I, I didn't know you had love scenes in nightclub reviews. <laughs> we don't, not in public. Oh, Tina's been sweet on me for a long time. Well, has she? Oh, you know how it is. These girls throw themselves at a fellow's head in these places. No, I, I don't know. Well, you're from the six. You'll catch on. There are a lot of cute fillies in the lineup, but just remember, Tina's spoken for. Oh, I, I'm only interested in my song. A song? Oh, sure. Tina's been on the lookout for a good song for me for a long time. Got a copy with you? Sure, right here. Well, let's hear it. Okay, but I'm no piano player, but I, I can give you an idea of the melody. When you're in love... With your somebody else, hey. nobody else will do. That's catchy. Go on. You've got the blues when you get the news. Well, then what? Well, that's all there is. I, I don't know quite how to finish it. I don't know how to finish it. Well, just put yourself in my place. Well, what do you mean? Pretend you're in love with Tina and she's in love with you. That ought to make it easy. Oh, sure. That ought to make it easy. <laughs> Mr. Forsythe, I'm so glad you come tonight. I've got to find a table reserved for you right down the front. Well, that's fine, Tony. You know, I never miss one of your openings. You're my favorite bootlegger in the good old days, Tony. Sure, sure. You're going to have a fine time. Hey, I've got a brand new song tonight. Not about the moon, not about the home, not about the mud. She's about somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a novelty, Tony. Sure. Oh, hello, Tina. Hello, Tony. Gee, nice crowd tonight. You're one of the officers, Mr. Cyril. Okay. Well, good luck, Tina. Oh, thanks, Tony. You're looking swell, Tina. Hey, that outfit's a knockout. I'm glad you like it, Lonnie. Yeah, I hope the show's a hit. Well shot out there. Do you think Eddie's song will be a hit? I'm not worried about the song. I can put it over. Right now, I'm thinking of another down payment. And after the show... I told you there wouldn't be any more payments, Lonnie. Have you been playing me for a sucker just to put this punk kid's song across? Well, I haven't played you at all. No? What about the day I promised to sing that kid's song? You give me a little kiss on account? Suppose I did. I got the worst of the bargain. You're in love with him. 
Well, he, he isn't in love with me. He'll not be in love with himself when I get through with him. Honey, what are you going to do? Follow me to Tony's office if you want to find out. Your boyfriend's in there now with Tony. Lonnie! Lonnie, come back here! Well, Miss Eddie Brown, we got to find a crowd. I think maybe your song is going to be a big hit. Got a nice seat for you down front. I'm not staying to hear my song, Mr. Sparrow. No, why not? I'm going home. I'm a hick and I belong in the sticks. I'm out of my class here. Ah, oh, sure, sure. It takes some time to catch on the ropes. Oh, but, it, but, Mr. Sparrow, I need a hundred dollars to square my debts and buy a railroad ticket. Will you give me that much for the song? Well, I don't know. She might be a flop. I know it's a gamble, but if you lose, you're out a hundred. But if you win, you clean up. Okay, I take it. i make you out a check. And I've got a bill of sale right here transferring all my rights to you. Okay. Oh, so here's the budding young genius. Taking you down for an advance, Tony? Yeah, I'm going to buy that song, Lonnie. Say, the orchestra, she's playing now. Why aren't you out there singing it and putting it over? I'm not singing it, and I'm not putting it over. What? Now, look here, Lonnie. I tell everybody about this song. Hey, somebody else. Don't get somebody else to sing it. It's a flop song. It's been tried out before. The sizzler gave Tina a sob story, and she went soft and played it up to me. You're a liar. That song's never been tried out before. You can tear up that check, Mr. Sparrow. I don't need it. And I don't need this rat to sing my song for me. You take that back. The only thing I'm taking back is my song. And as for you, Lonnie Edwards, you'll take this. Oh. Hey, what do you do that for? Eddie. Lonnie. Eddie, what have you done? I just made my first smash hit. But, but they're playing your song now, Eddie, and there's nobody to sing it. Lonnie, listen. Listen, Lonnie, please get up and sing this song for Tony. Please, Lonnie. You're fired. Tell me. Everybody's a fire. You too, Tina. Wait a minute, you get Mr. Out. Sparrow. I don't need that false alarm to put my song over. I'll sing it myself. When you're in love with your somebody else, nobody else will do. You've got the blues when you get the news that somebody else loves you. just heard a dramatization suggested by an interesting story, which will appear in next Sunday's issue of the American Weekly, the magazine distributed with all first Sunday newspapers from coast to coast. This is Wentworth announcing and turning the microphone over to your own announcer. Mm-hmm.